Hi, welcome back to Coffee Drone. So today we're going to have a look at the Snaptain H823H, which is a four-axis mini drone quad, whatever you want to call it. So, see we get in the box. So in the box you get a spare set of propellers, a charger, screwdriver, typical stuff. You get an actual really nice little manual. It's very quite detailed, to be honest. And then you can get, by sharing your Snapchat experience, you can claim some free gifts if you want to do a review. You get the drone and the controller. So let's just get rid of the box out of the way. So, as you can see, it is tiny. Very small little drone. As you can see, very, very small indeed. It's got this guard on the top to stop you getting to the prop, which I do like, and it really is kid friendly this because I've tried picking it up and everything, and unless you can get your fingers in through these holes, and it's just smooth, just stop anyway, because they're little tiny brushed motors. So on the front you have a little light. In fact, let's just I'll boot it up and you can see it. So on the front you've got a little light, little LED, and then you can see these little lights pulsing inside. You can actually see that in the dark. Now, so the big downside of this is it's got a built-in battery that's not replaceable. So you can see the battery inside there. It's a 300 milliamp hour 3S and it's supposed to do seven minutes. I'm getting more like four inside. So I don't, I can't get seven minutes. The best I've got, I think four, four and a half, something like that. Now the great thing about this is look how flexible the frame is. I've crashed this loads of times into stuff, it doesn't mark anything, it just bounces back into shape. So for a kid point of view, this is a fantastic drone. Now, this is what I'm basing my, I think this is a kid's drone because it's very, very easy to fly. In fact, there's no real challenge to it at all. It'll just take off and hover because the altitude hull is that good on it. The altitude hull is fantastic. Let me just run through the controller quick for you. You have a headless mode button here. You have a return to general direction you've set off from. It works about as well as the others. The headless mode works fine. You've got trim buttons here for this stick. And then on this side, you have a, um, I can't actually remember if it does anything on this side. I'll just double check the instructions. This button does absolutely nothing apart from make a beeping sound. And then on here, you have push in to change speed. And then this one is your flip button. So, it runs on three AAA batteries in the back. Uh, sorry, this one's your take off and land button. So if I press that button and hold it in, it will take off. And as you can see, it really is quite stable. Let's pick it up a little bit and I'll show you on the camera how stable this thing is. It's a bit of uh, it's got a drift in here because of all the I've got air running through because the air con's on, but you can see. How stable it is. And then one key to land again. So, yeah. It's a really stable little drone. It flies really well. It does not have a camera. This, what you see is what you get. So this is your drone. But it does do 3D flips well. And the altitude hold mode works fantastically if you're in a still, calm situation. I would not recommend flying this outside. The props are tiny, the motors are tiny, and this isn't going to do it, out, cut it outside. This is a great little indoor drone. Now, you might want to look around because there's a lot of drones like this on the market, but the big advantage of this one is I've never seen one quite this flexible. I honestly haven't. Or with the guards on like this that are so soft and flexible. I've seen hard plastic guards, but this thing's got really nice plastic guards on. It does fly really, really well. If you're interested in it, there is a link in Amazon for this. You're going to pay a little bit more because it's on Amazon, remember. But you're going to get the backup of Amazon and the fact that you can just return it if something's wrong with it. So yeah, it's a nice little drone. But like I said, there's a lot of these out there at this kind of price point or maybe a bit below. The controller feels alright in your hand. It seems responsive. It does what it says. I'm not the biggest fan of these tiny controllers, but it works fine for what it is. And like I say, the drone, I just wish it had better flight time. And I wish it had a battery you could remove. I'll leave some footage up at the end of the video if you see me flying it around my lounge. It's 
skews the lighting because it's a very dim, dim, uh, dull day outside and I've got artificial lighting so it doesn't look the best but you're going to get the general idea. Thanks ever so much for watching, have a fantastic day.